What is the most resilient parasite? A bacteria? A virus? An idea? Resilient, highly contagious. Once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate.
In 600 BC, Greek philosopher Anaximander discovered that our universe was born from a very powerful blue luminescent substance. Anaximander revealed that a minute amount of this substance lay dormant inside the pineal gland of every human, but substantially more of it resides in those who are exceptionally imaginative. He claimed that those who carry enough of the substance are able to unlock great power and containing it in a secret key, making them able to manipulate reality itself.
announced there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last.
warrior does not give up what he loves, dear. He finds the love in what he does. The warrior is not about perfection or victory or invulnerability. He's about absolute vulnerability. He's about his absolute vulnerability.
until something's proven empirically. Epistemological concepts, whatever your conceptual ideas, they have to make a juxtaposition with reality someplace so that you know by empirical evidence that what you have said was reality is tested to be reality. Now if that was above some of your heads, I was throwing that out for a few out here to think that they are too intellectual for us.
as gods and came strangers. They were a race as old as time itself. They had mastered the ultimate technology, the ability to alter physical reality by will alone. They called this ability Cune. But they were dying. Their civilization was in decline. And so they abandoned their world, seeking a cure for their own mortality. Their endless journey brought them to a small blue world in the farthest corner of the galaxy. Our world.